so I always use Creality Print not Creality Slicer there's a difference they have the two on their website there is a difference but anyway if you go to Creality.com then go into support and from support see I've just run over the support just run over the support icon and bring it up and then go down to software download and click on that and then you'll have the different versions here I've got Windows so I'll pull down Windows and that's the latest release and it will just download it for you so if you don't know what it does it goes over here click on that you can right click here show in folder okay so as you can see it's downloaded here so all you need to do so I've done I've already done Kira and Orca Slice so I will do a thing on those ah there it is I haven't finished yet I'll just wait for this to disappear okay so <coughs> as you can see I've downloaded the latest version here I've got Cura and I've got Orca Slicer in here that I'm going to do a thing on as well. So you've got all three applications here. I've downloaded the very latest version, so it's the very latest version as of the 1st of January 2024. Okay, so if you just double click on it, it will go through and load. Just accept all the defaults and usually sort of fairly obvious unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so it's loading away there. Now it's uninstalling first and now it's going to go and install the next version. Okay, okay, so next, I agree, next, just accept all the defaults I usually do. Okay, so you can choose to run it if you want. If you don't want it to run, just unclick that, of course. We finish, it'll open up for us. Okay, guys, so once Corality Prints open up, the first thing you probably want to do is turn off support, so you don't really want it printing supports with your temperature tower. So you can do either double click on here or select which one you're doing and then come down to the here the edit thing you go edit and then you pick from here your support tab and just turn the supports off okay remember to turn it back on after you've done your test there okay then what you want to do is go up to calibration here and go temperature you can do all these other ones and that will fine tune your your printer even more but today we'll do just the temperature tower and here it asks you what filament you're using up the top here so usually it's going to be PLA or PETG for a lot of you um, ABS a lot of people use and um, a TPU not so much the carbon fibers here but I don't know, doesn't matter okay so this is the start temperature so temperature is going to start the tower at it'll be down the bottom and then this is what will end up the temperature will end at at the top and it will go increments of five degrees so once you've run the test for the first time you'll pick which temperature you think is the best temperature from your temperature tower you then come in here and narrow this down to around that temperature so if it was a 200 you think oh, 200 looks the best I'd come in here maybe change that to 195 to 205 and then have a temperature step of two degrees and then run it again and you can narrow it down even further what the better um, temperature will be for your filament and you can keep doing that until you get the exact temperature yeah um, depends how accurate you want to be <laughs> okay so once you put that just push enter and it will go away and create your temperature tower like so so oh, oh, let me just grab it pull it in and magnify it a bit so on that temperature tower if we spin it round you can see it's got all the temperatures listed on it yeah so it starts at 230 ends at 190 and the reason I took the supports away because you want to see how it prints these little arrows here and how it prints bridges without the supports on because you want to narrow it down so it prints your bridges and your little structures without stringing and without drooping of your bridges so you want to print it without supports and then from there we just pump it off to the printer with the land printing if you haven't liked and subscribed guys that'd be really really appreciated if you could like and subscribe if you could do that for us that'd be much appreciated guys thank you okay so when your temp tower is finished you'll get a little tower something like this so i've stopped it before it's finished but you get the idea of what's going on so just go into close-up mode so you'll see the different temperatures that it's printed at and then you've got um these little spot th um, spike things which will show you how the spikes print and then you've got the overhangs to show you how the overhangs print but you'll be wanting to look at them this way yeah you can see that this at 2 
the 230 overhang is drooping a little bit more than some of the ones up here so I would say probably the 215 is the best overhang just underneath the top there 220 is not bad but it's not as good as 215 but you can also have a look under here where the um, circles are you can see the overhangs there and how it, it joins up the circles so that's what you want to be looking for I can't really notice that much so I use one of these <laughs> It's got a little light on it, and I shine it on. I have a look through that way, um, but you can pick up the big differences between what's in the um, what sort of print they are. Now, what I'm using here, this camera is the Neb new Nebula, Nebula camera. I'll show you from that does all my close-ups. So this is a new Nebula, ca Nebula camera that Creality's just released, and what you can do is you can set the focus. So you can do um, the distance focus or close up. So I got it to set to close up. That's what was blurry when it started when I brought it close up. You can see it. So this is going to be my little close up camera. They cost hardly anything. I think that's what, um, 50 bucks or something, 50 Australian dollars, something like that, um, for the camera and the stand. And with, I'm just using this as uh, plugged straight into my laptop, which here, sits up there. So I just plug straight into my laptop. And I've just attached it as another camera. Now what I've, I've ordered another two because I like it so much. I thought, wow, shit, that's a bargain for the price. And I'm going to put one on my KE that's coming in the next um, couple of days. The show she should be here tomorrow, maybe. Um, and I got a Hallett Marge Pro coming that will also fit directly onto the printer, and you can just monitor and, and do time lapses and all that sort of stuff um, for that. So that's what I've done so this is the temp tower now what you do once the temp tower tells you what setting you want I'll just um, we'll just go into the program and show you how to change it in there get rid of that temp tower now I can just delete that so go into the prepare icon and then over the side here you want to come up to your filament area you want to click on that and go down the bottom here where it says manage click on that button and then you've got all your different filament types that you've got loaded over on the side here but what you can do is you can create one so I'll create one and I'd say it's um, things like create reality PLA um, what was it? it was Matt Matt Okay, so I'm going to create my own filament name, um, and you can choose the model. So what model I had was, um, I think I just did generic, yeah, there is generic PLA. So it's going to take the settings off that, and I'm just going to change it a bit. So we can create it, and it's got it down here. So. I've loaded in and you can see over here now that that's selected see over here the temperatures so I can change that I'm thinking maybe 215 and this one change it to 2 oh, come on 215 <coughs> so there's the initial print and the print temperature you can have a different initial print and a different final print it doesn't really matter too much if you want to do that but um, so there, that's how you create and change your your printer setting and then once you've done that you save it of course and then when you're pr selecting your, your filament type you know okay it's this one that I could created that I know all about and you can select it there and then it comes up in there and that uses those settings for your filament in Creality Print so it's really easy in Creality Print okay guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate the support you might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye